What's up, gang? Uh, today, I want to do a little video. I, uh, I won a $200 gift certificate to Home Depot in a contest from General Mills, the Tailgate Nation party. Uh, it was last night about 1.30 in the morning. So today, I went on a $200 shopping spree at Home Depot. Let's see what kind of cool stuff I got. Well, I'm Walter Day, the father of eSports, and you're watching Maddie Mo's Arcade. I'm getting ready to attack. Fanny pack attached. Tokens are all stacked. Got the mallet in my grasp. Waiting for the moles. Ha, hiding in their holes. Score, we're keeping tally. I'll be playing till they close now. Can't nobody beat my high score. You can't beat my high score. Can't nobody beat my high score. You can't beat my high score. I'm a mallet master, a single fisted blaster. You can ask my baby, it starts slow, then gets faster. I'm a record setter. My... So let's start with uh, some of the little stuff I got. Uh, I've been working on this little work area for myself so that I can work at home and stay caught up. Don't fall behind. As you can see at work, I got a lot going on. Um, but I picked, you know, three or four things that were going to be kind of pricey. And then I knew I'd have, you know, that five ten dollar range left over that i needed to fill in and you know if it went over a little bit it went over a little bit that's okay uh but let's start with just got a little thing of solder um i don't really have any complaints about the solder i guess it's a little bit high priced compared to what you would normally buy in the big bulk rolls but it does the job and then my little filler things here just to get them out of the way it's got some of these little clamps couple different sizes these were like a dollar a piece and I think these little ones were 50 cents a piece I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with them but I know I'll be able to find a use for them so those were my little throwaway things if I I was gonna try to hit it right at $200 at first but I figured out oh, what's what's the point so let's start with the first major purchase here this was the most expensive thing I got I'm gonna knock it over down here let's, see, let's go this way here. Bang. Uh, I got a Dremel kit. My boss always says, oh, if you had a Dremel kit, we could do this. And Oh, did you bring your Dremel in? We could we could do this and, and do that. It would be so much easier. I don't have a Dremel kit. Uh, my stepdad has one that I borrow a lot. So I ended up uh, picking up this one. It was $69.99. Um, and... There was, you know, there was a big selection. There was one that was $49.99, and, it, you know, it was pretty much like this one. I guess, obviously, there's some kind of horsepower, horsepower, some kind of difference. I mean, this one's got a little bit more power, so I'm trying to say. Um, and it, it came with, I think, a, a, an extra 50 attachments and stuff like that. But since I don't really know what I'm doing with one anyway, I don't know what attachments I need, so I didn't want to buy a specific kit for it yet. But uh, we'll open this in just a second. Let's go on to the next thing. Uh, the next thing, this was definitely part of my field. We got a new multimeter. It wasn't a fluke like I like. This is, uh, I guess, their brand, Klein Tools. Um, the things that I was looking for in a new meter uh, was I want it to be backlit so that if I have it in a dark game, I can actually see what's going on. And this one has uh, it has an audible beep for when you uh, check continuity. You know, you, you're checking a fuse to see if it's good or not. Same thing. If it's in the dark, I can't see it. Sometimes I can't reach over and see and look to actually see the meter. So it'd be nice to just hear the audible tones, and I can move a little bit faster like that. All right. What else do we have down here? Okay, here's a as seen on TV. I didn't realize that's what it was at first. Uh, got a rechargeable light bar. And I haven't heard anything good or bad about this. Um, this is where I got into the territory. I was going to buy a solder station um, instead of this stuff that I'm going to show you now. They had a, a, a Weller solder station. And it was adjustable temp, adjustable wattage, and I thought that would be really neat for sitting here on the desk. It wasn't big, it was really compact, perfect, but they were out of stock. So I started looking for other things. And so I didn't do any research on this one, otherwise I would have, would have beforehand. But uh, we'll go ahead and charge this up and check it out and turn off the lights in here and see how much 
see how much light kicks off. And then this is no big deal, but I need to get it out of the way. Kind of goes with the next thing. Just a little surge protector power strip. Just kind of need some more power management around here. Working on the iPads and phones and having everything charged and my devices charging and speakers and stuff like that. I need, need more outlets. And then that goes with this, which I really like this and I did see this, but I didn't do much research on it. This is a desktop power station with USB. So basically it'll sit over here or over here on the corner of my desk and it's got its own six foot cord that runs down to my power strip. And then in itself, it's got one uh, regular outlet and then it's got four USB spots. So that can sit on my corner of my desk and I can run shorter cords to it for my phone, iPad, stuff like that. So I, I really did need something like this kind of, I hate, one of my pet peeves is all the cords. And as you can see, like, I don't even like this. I need to put another one on there so that it's like this. I can't stand that. Ugh. Okay. And we are down to the last thing, I believe. I think we got it all. And I just threw in this guy because I had, I think this was like 15 bucks. And it's a floating waterproof speaker. So I guess uh, we'll bust that out, charge it up, check it out too. But uh, that's what I got so far, or that's what I got total. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start opening this stuff up, and you guys can stick around and join me. Alright, let's start with this light bar first. Hopefully you guys can see everything because uh, I don't have the camera facing me. Um, I want to start with this because it does charge up and I want to charge it and try it in this video. Um, and it's kind of getting late and I want to want to post it. So none of this stuff has been opened yet. It's all factory sealed. I waited to do the video to open it. So I'm kind of anxious to get started and get through this video. So I want to play with my new toys. I also have a lot of work I have to get to. I have uh, two monitor chassis and I brought the Donkey Kong board home with me. I'm gonna get those done tonight before I go back to work tomorrow. Okay. I missed tape somewhere else. What's going on here? I do not understand. We are ripping her open. Come on. I think I'm going to return it anyway, unless it's horrible. Okay, so we got some free styrofoam. That's always helpful. Yeah. Cord. Some screws to mount it with. I don't really want to mount it. Alright, so let's check it out. It does not feel heavy. Get some sleeve action going on here. Okay, and it did say, well, it's not real bright, 720 lumens, I mean, it's, it's okay, but no batteries needed, portable, perfect power outages, camping, auto, and home. So it's great for when you're driving around your home, that's perfect. You definitely want to see how bright it is, I mean, it looks okay. It does have different settings and it has an SOS setting on here. So we'll go ahead and get this charging. Nice little stand. Kind of an odd way to stand. It's got another one here I guess you can hang. So it has some options. We'll get this one charged up and we'll play with it in the dark a little bit. Okay, so we got a little bit of a charge on this thing. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go lights out and see how good it is. See, so I want to go high on last. So let's go ahead and go dark. And the first thing I'm going to put it on is SOS. We'll see how that looks. Oh, it is dark. So this is SOS. That is not Morse code for SOS. I don't want to shine it right at the camera see yeah i mean i guess if the power was out you could still do a little work here i mean kind of see what's going on 
Let's see what else we have. This is low setting. So it's just a little bit dimmer. Save your battery. Let's see how good bright is. Hmm, that's pretty good. Let's try the kickstand here. So I was working here. I mean, if that's all I had, I, I guess I could get it done. Definitely good enough for camping. And it'll add light. I mean, if you figure you're in the inside of a game, this is going to help big time. Definitely, I can see that. All right, so let me get the light turned back on. I'll use this handy dandy tool. All right, let's go on to the next thing. Let's check out this Dremel tool. And I really don't know much about these. I mean, I've used them a couple times. Definitely didn't know the differences on the different model numbers. I mean, some of them were, they had different functions. Like they weren't just the simple Dremel tool. Some of them you could set up in a drill press. Some of them like an angle grinder. It does have a, its own case, that's good. I like having their own case, like stuff that you put away. Lights got dim for a second. I'm drawing too much power. Okay, so let's open it this way so we can both see. I think. Oh, here it is. Do. All right. Looks looks pretty used. It's got some good weight to it. And it's variable speed, off all the way up to ten. I don't think we're going to grind anything or, or use this tonight, but I will mention it when we come across it in the future because I'm sure there's going to be plenty of things that I don't, I can't think of at the moment that I would want to use it for, but I've just never had one, so I don't think about those things. But it's got some, uh, a lot of different attachments exactly, actually, I mean all different kinds of things so I'm gonna to have to kind of look this up and and see what all kinds of fun stuff I can do so I really don't know this is just something that uh, my boss keeps saying I need so I'm guessing I need one I think I do anyway all right let's see what's next well, let's check out the multimeter next I'm trying to go a little bit faster than I normally would because this is probably already 15 minutes 20 minutes or something like that but this is the last major thing I don't have to worry about the extension cords and the power station. We uh, we know what those are like. Holy cow! All right, we got him to it. Okay, good. This one does have a kickstand. I was complaining about that working on the pinball machine, but it's when I'm trying to test voltages, I can't show you guys. And that is much easier to, to set up for the camera. So I really like that. Got our leads. And I'm not really sure what this is. Maybe it's some kind of outlet tester or something. It did come with a book. So yeah, I'm not used to these actual symbols. I kind of know what they mean. I mean, it's not, it doesn't take a genius, but my other one's a little bit simpler to read. It's kind of a no brainer, but, uh, it's, an, it's not as bulky as I thought. It looked a lot bulkier in the package, but I kind of like it. So we'll do uh, some kind of comparison test on these, maybe on this uh, chassis that I'm working on here next. But all right. And, well, I guess we can look at the speaker. Where did I toss it? Here it is. Just kind of check it out. See what it's got going on, and then we'll wrap it up. Now... I'm going to go back to work and I'll keep filming. I have a lot of a lot of stuff filmed for you guys, but I haven't really finished anything because I just keep working. So I thought this would be kind of fun. How often do you win a $200 shopping spree anywhere, much less go get tools? That was fun. I envision it taking a lot longer. It, it still took about an hour, but I thought I was going to shop around a little bit more. But it's not hard to spend $200 at Home Depot at all. That one's got some weight to it. More cords to 
fall over the place anyway. So we'll definitely use this in the next video and we'll have something playing in the background. Something that's uh, not copyrighted. Maybe the theme song, they keep trying to get me for that. So you got your buttons on the top here. I like it. It's not bad. It's definitely hollow at the bottom and all the weights at the top. So there, that's how you're getting it to float. Well, that's cool. But anyway, that was the shopping spree. Uh, that was pretty fun, actually. Um, so we're going to go ahead and test these out on this next video, which I'm going to film now, but you may not see for a couple days. But thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one. So these two right here are going to be ground and 5 volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it, too. Super but if I didn't get what I want! <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah! Okay. It's, it's, it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.